Here's how to use Trader Map Lite on Bookmap and how to get rid of this annoying stacker algo. But first, what is this stacker algo? As we can see on the ES futures, we have orders that are constantly moving on the downside and the upside, making it very hard to read the heat map. So what exactly is the stacker algo? The stacker algo is from a larger player which positions itself in the market around 8 a.m. EST. This algorithm shadows the market all day with high liquidity on three price levels, moving about three to four points away from both the best bid and the best offer. Its goal is to get a good position in the order book queue so that it can be filled before other traders when trade conditions are right. And because of that, it does make it very hard to read the heat map. However, Bookmap did come up with a solution, and that solution is using Trader Map Lite. Now, this is a free tool that you can download through Bookmap, and anyone who has access to Global or Global Plus will have access to Trader Map Lite. And you will need to have Bookmap version 7.6 or higher to use Trader Map Lite. Now, to use Trader Map Lite, first you want to select the instrument that you're going to be trading. So, in this scenario, I'm going to be using the ES Futures. Once you have the instrument selected, you then want to head up to Configure Add ons. Click on that and then click manage add-ons. Now once on manage add-ons, you then want to scroll all the way to the bottom where it says available for install. You simply want to find Trader Map Lite and you want to click install. Now once this is installed, it should pop up in your configure add-ons. From here, you want to select Trader Map Lite. Now there are three different filters that you can use. The first one is just a standard bot remover, meaning it's going to get rid of these algo bars right here, as we can see. But then you can also change the sensitivity. So high sensitivity is further going to filter the orders and then lower sensitivity is going to include more orders. So play around with those three and figure out which one works for you and your trading. So now comparing ES through Trader Map Lite as well as Rhythmic or Bookmap data, originally we're going to be seeing orders like this. Again, we can see that they're moving higher, moving lower, making it very hard to read the heat map. However, with Trader Map Lite, a lot of those orders are removed and the heat map is a lot more clear to read. Now, the nice thing about Trader Map Lite is you can still use Market Pulse, Stops and Icebergs, or any other add-on of your choosing. In order to do this, all you need to do is go back to the original instrument, go back to Configure Add-ons, and make sure the add-on is selected. And once you do that, your add-ons will pop up in Trader Map Lite. Now, the final thing about Trader Map Lite, which I really like, is you can trade directly from this chart. Instead of having to stare at the annoying algo, not getting a clear understanding of the overall order, and trading through this, now with Trader Map Lite, we can get rid of that annoying algo and we can trade straight from this clean chart. Now, in order to do this, what we're going to do is show the trade control panel. So we'll click this button right here and our trade panel will pop up. Now, what we want to do from here is select the instrument that we are going to be trading as well as the data feed. So in this scenario, I'm going to be using the ES futures through rhythmic data. Once I select that, all I have to do is click start and you'll get a window that says you have activated cross trading. Now from here, make sure you select chart DOM or both. Now what you can do is select your size, whether you want to go long or short. But overall, the most important thing is we have a way clearer view on the overall orders in the market. We got rid of this annoying algo and we can take trades based off of this clean chart right here utilizing Trader Map Lite. So again, if you have access to Global or Global Plus and are using Bookmap version 7.6 or higher, you can start using this add-on right away.